Hello, welcome to this video on PitchPrint Web Subprint module for Odoo. Today we're going to talk about how to install the PitchPrint Web to Print module on your Odoo system after you've purchased it. And we'll talk about how you can connect PitchPrint to Odoo, retrieve your designs for the products you've created and link them to your Odoo products and how a user will then customize this product on your e-commerce store and then finally how you will receive that order for the product in the back-end sale order within the Odoo system. In order to achieve this we're going to need first off Odoo with e-commerce installed, a pitch print subscription or a free 14-day trial and a tea or a coffee, always helpful. So first off, I'm going to load my Odoo system and you can see PitchPrint is currently installed as the icon is visible. If it's not, you will need to go to your apps menu and install the PitchPrint module from the apps. If it's not within your apps, you will need to speak to your Odoo partner or you can if you're running Odoo on your own system, copy the module you've downloaded into your custom modules folder, go to the apps, click on update apps list, and then install the pitch print module, which will be available. Once the module's available, you can click on the icon. And the first thing we need to do is go to configuration and settings. And from here, we need to enter our API key and secret key, which will be obtained from the PitchPrint admin portal. So normally within PitchPrint, when you have an account, you'll see this portal here, and you will go to your domains, and that's where you'll see your API key and password, uh, API key and secret key as a password. So paste those in here, and then once you have done that, Click on save and immediately afterwards the next thing to do is to click on the fetch latest designs button. If everything's successful your pitch print designs will be downloaded and we will move on to the next screen. So if you bear with me shortly I'm just going to enter my key and I will then click on the fetch latest designs button. I'm just entering my key now and I'm going to press the fetch latest designs button which is downloading and once that is done I'm going to switch back to my screen and you can see so if we go back to the pitch print icon here and now if we click on the web to print products menu you'll see pitch print designs. If we click on that section, you should now see all the designs that have been downloaded from the pitch print platform. So in order for us to uh, make a product available to buy for a customer, we need to link it to an Odoo product uh, to make it visible within our store. In order to do that, we can go to our Odoo products from here we can click create to create a new product and then you'll see a tab called pitch print if we click on that tab you can tick the box that says pitch print design and then you'll see a list within design ID of all of your designs available within pitch print so if we choose one of these designs I'm just going to choose the t-shirt you'll see pitch print has fetched the image uh, into Odoo and stored the name which you can now actually change if you want to make that a different name and you can then make all your other changes on the product that you need such as setting the sales price setting the product category and also setting the e-commerce category as well 
And at this point, we can also set a ribbon, if you like, which would appear against the product on the store, something like custom, so that it appears with the word custom. Once we've done that, we can save the product, click on the go to website button, which is red currently, and we need to publish our product within Odoo. In order to do that, click the top right corner until the option says published. So our product is ready to sell and any customer that comes to our shop can now purchase our product. As you can see I've got two t-shirts, uh, one I've just created now called t-shirt custom and this is the one that we're going to actually purchase as a customer on the website. So that's the next step that we're going to take. If we click on the t-shirt, you will see on the custom product we have a customize button and a reset designs button. Click on customize and then you will see the pitch print designer at which point the customer can choose from a range of text styles that you can customize within pitch print. Uh, they can choose from a range of default backgrounds that are all selectable by yourself. And they can add pictures. They can upload their own pictures from their computer or phone. And they can edit the text and the styles in a very simple editor that doesn't require any design knowledge. So I'm just going to change this image here. I'm going to put a different picture on. Let's use that butterfly there. Uh, I'm going to change the text. Let's, uh, let's call this pitch print demo. And that's my very simple t-shirt. So when the design is completed and the client can look at the back as well as we've got a two page design here. So this we can call this the back here. And when it's completed they can click on the preview button for a final preview and then press submit if they're happy. So once this design is complete you'll see it's then stored onto the Odoo product page. Again you can still look at the images in the scrolling carousel here. And when the client is ready to go ahead and purchase this product, they can click the Add to Cart button. Notice that the Add to Cart button is not visible until they've completed customizing. And they click Add to Cart. The product will be added. And as you can see here, there is a button Review Design if they need to come back and amend the design on the product before completing. If, if we're happy to go ahead with the order, let's press che Check Out. And then we can look by going back to our Odoo home screen. We can now click on the pitch print icon, or we could go to our Odoo sales app, whichever way we prefer to access this. But I'm going to go to the pitch print icon as this is the easiest way to access incoming pitch print orders. And you can see there is a new web to print order in this list. If I click on it, you'll see this is the design that we've just created as a customer. We have a custom t-shirt and you see the design preview button here. If you click on that button, it will load the pitch print admin panel and you can preview the customer's design in advance. If you're happy, if the customer has accepted this order, and confirmed. The confirm button will happen when payment is accepted and the order is confirmed. You will see that the design has been downloaded, the print ready PDF has been downloaded from Pitch Print and a preview image as well. An email here has been sent to the customer to confirm their order and their design and this has then been stored against the sales order 
for the customer to see within the portal, as well as for you as a employee to be able to produce this order for the customer. So everything is there that's needed, including the print ready PDF attachment. And their order is ready to be uh, created and shipped and invoiced. And that is a very brief process for how to complete a web to print order within Odoo using the pitch print module. You will see in future videos, we will go into more depth on how you can customize product variants and also create all manner of different types of products using the pitch print web to print module.